Hello and welcome back to our top 5 play series for League of Legends. My name is Parv, the commentator here at Potato Monster, and I invite you to take a breather from whatever you're doing to enjoy some awesome plays submitted by your fellow League players. Coming in at 5th place is Endless Oblivion playing on Blitzcrank. We see him use Overdrive for the run speed, rushing straight in on the tower, landing a sick hook on Volibear into an ultimate for the kill, and then turning right after with Power Fist Pop for the double on Gangplank. As Ari comes to finish off, let's see Rocket grabs her and tries to run, dodging the first part of her cube, and then she flashes for the kill, so he turns around using his E to knock her into the air as he flashes back into the brush, breaking line of sight and getting away. Timo pulls off the kill on Ari for the clutch 3-0 exchange, all thanks to this impressive Blitzcrank. Scoring in at 4th place for this episode is RG Pure on Ezreal. At the start of this clip, he's playing an aggressive lane and decides to go in with Arcane Shift getting onto Graves. Alistar immediately heals and then Exhaust follows so he's going to back off knowing he's in a crummy position. Alistar Flash Pull rises after him, forcing him to run towards the brush as Graves tries to finish him off. He then breaks line of sight and uses his ultimate which melts down Graves leaving a 1v1 as he dips down to 13 health but pulls off the sick 1v2 turnaround double kill. Now that's a slap in the face. And for our number 3 spot for this week, we have Gallery playing on Ari, and right from the start of the clip, we see the enemy team doing Dragon as she comes to contest it alone. She gets right in there, dealing heavy damage to Shyvana, right before getting the kill, Vayne condemns her into the wall, then Shyvana ult, and on top of all of that, Ryze comes in with the snare, bringing her to under 100 health. Through all this, she slays the dragon, uses her third charge on her ultimate to go through the wall, and then picks up the double kill off Vayne, who flashes through. We then go back to Dragon as she starts to recall, and we see Teemo sitting on Tark for just a few seconds, and then bloop, just like that, he picks up Dragon and then the kill. Her team then starts to chase down Ryze and brings him down for the 4-0 exchange, and the Dragon seal for the massive lead over the enemy team. Coming in at second place, we have a sick place submitted by 7 Satan. Right off the bat, we see his team retreating as his sidekick Exynes out flashes but goes down anyways. His Morgana flashes and gets away, but Shyvana's ult won't cut it as they start laying down the slowdowns. Trying to be the hero, he turns around using Dragon's Rage to knock all five of the enemy players into the air, and then using his Q to pick up the kill on Cassidy. He then gets right back in there with his change of momentum, picking up the double kill off Shyvana, the triple from Jax, and then turning around with the Sonic Wave for the quadra kill from Ezreal. He then starts to chase down Evelyn and lands another great Sonic Wave to pick up the amazing turnaround Pentacle. Kill and Ace. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Roots14 on Xerath. And right from the start, we see that neither team is really initiated, but then he sees the opportunity and pops his W for ridiculous rage and hits Talon with his Q, so they start to back off. He then lets them have it using Arcane Barrage to deal massive damage to the enemy team and picking up the kill on Annie. He's not done yet, guys. From his sniper tower, he grabs the kill on Talon and then moves out to pick up the triple kill from Mundo. He then turns with Arcano Pulse on both of them as he gets silenced and then he follows them momentarily, letting them think they've escaped, then landing another amazing Q, picking up the early pentakill and ace. And the winner for this week's player's choice is Raider69 playing on Malzahar. As the clip plays, I just want to say one thing. Check out the prize prize that's going to be uploaded today because it will have a lot of information on the donations as well as the winners for that. And as well as a massive announcement of all the past weeks we've missed on prize prize. We don't plan on cheating you guys out of a single prize. So to all the winners of any top fives recently and to everyone who subscribed, check out that video because you may have won some Razor gear. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed week 49 of our League of Legends top five plays.